we got shipping to do and we got sipping to do uh 32 total orders uh, sorry 33 total orders last night from whatnot 50 sorry 60 units 60 units going out the door last night we shipped 23 of those orders so yeah we got a few more we got 10 more total orders left that's 23 units that we got to ship this morning sipping and shipping shipping and sipping hope you're enjoying some coffee or whatever it takes to get you going in the morning Thanks for being here. Thanks to everybody who showed out last night for the whatnot show. Great turnout. Great turnout. A lot of positive energy. Some really cool stuff. I hope you had fun. I sure as heck did. I sure as heck did. Let me know if you're in the chat and you got yourself a order from whatnot last night. We'll get you shipped right out. And as always, if you get you an order from TikTok shop, which is 30% off right now, free shipping on TikTok shop. You get you an order on TikTok shop or chris at peak.com right here during the live, get yourself some rad merch or some delicious coffee. Uh, we can get that going. I've got to get my coffee order in today. It's delivered fresh every roasted fresh every Thursday and delivered Thursday too. So we'll get that order in today. So tomorrow we can get some fresh coffee. The thrift was just okay yesterday. It was just okay. But I ran into two of my my favorite local reseller friends while I was there. So that was fun. Got to catch up with a couple of folks. Morning, Sean Douglas. Appreciate you being here over on YouTube. We're live on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok, whatever your pleasure. Every weekday morning, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, we talk shop, we talk coffee, we pack orders. Snappy, da Snappy D is here. Good morning, Ruth. Sophia, how are you? Right on. Big dose of gratitude. Thanks, to everybody, for showing up last night for the Whatnot Show. Whether you bought something or just tapped on the screen and shared some positive vibes in the show, I appreciate both. It's a fun show last night. I thought we got some work to do. Let's get into it. As always, I want to hear about what's going on in your business. Did you get some good sales? Did you find some cool stuff yesterday? Just got home from Seattle. Nice. How was your trip? Glad you're home safe and sound. Back to the great state of North Carolina. Glad you're home. Now, does that mean back to the grind? Show went great, Mother Nature Show. Thanks for asking, brother. Had a lot of fun last night. That was a good show. Good energy. 50 auctions, four giveaways, and we, some people bought some stuff from the buy it now, too. So all together, 60 units out the door and 33 packages. Good morning, Missy. How are you? Let's get some shipping going. If you're in the chat and you bought something last night, let me know. We'll get that... Uh, We'll get that shipped out right now during the live. It's always fun to ship out to my friends during the live. We got a couple of TikTok shop orders we'll get out today too. Remember, TikTok shop showing me people are getting 30% off in free shipping. Someone got a thrifting is my cardio t-shirt. Flipping by Tanya got one for $15.75. They're normally they're normally $25. So $15.75 free shipping. And someone got a bag of coffee. Scooby Doo got a bag of coffee. 12 or no, one is. Scooby Doo got a thrifting is my cardio bag, twelve dollars and sixty cents. They're normally twenty bucks on TikTok shop. That's a good idea. Patagonia Papa Best for ninety seven. Ooh, nice sales. Patagonia and Carhartt. Let's go. Puffer Vest for ninety seven. Let's go. All right, we'll get into the shipping right now. We got a order going out to my friend Big E, Big E Eric down in Greenville, South Carolina. He's got himself a brand new pair of cool hiking pants. For 21 bucks can't beat it brand new these pants are probably 80 dollars msrp i'm not sure it doesn't say the msrp on them um but i'm pretty sure i don't know they could be like 80 to 100 dollars for these brand new something in that range going out to biggie thanks brother get you shipped out thanks everyone for popping in the chat for saying hello saying good morning it's always a treat to have y'all makes my day so much better when i get to do my shipping in the morning, my morning routine with my friends. Good morning, Brant. Thanks for the positive vibes over there, Mother Nature Show. If you have any questions about reselling, selling on Poplar, eBay, whatnot, let me know. I love answering questions. That's a lot of fun. That's what this is all about. I'm going to do handwritten thank you notes with my coffee pen. Thanks from... Thanks to Jesse Makes. Made this with my own coffee. Everything 
from last night ships out today. Some of this stuff is going priority too. So like Big E's got to get this tomorrow because he only lives about an hour away from me. A lot of you will get your packages on Friday. Some of you get it on Sunday or Monday. Everyone, though, gets a handwritten thank you note. Where else can you get brand new cool for $21? Brand new with tags, cool pants, 21 bucks. Can you see my question? I'm out of the country. I don't see... I don't see a question for you, except for that one you just asked. Uh, good morning from Casa Grande, 64 on our way to 94. Nice. Thanks for being here, Nick. Good to see you. Nice deal on those schools for sure. One of my favorite brands. How far are you from Cherokee? I'm going to the Candlebox show there in a couple of weeks. Uh, Cherokee, about an hour of Cherokee, about an hour west of us. That sounds like, oh, that's a great show. I didn't know that uh, Candlebox was... Still touring. Is it a original band members? Talk about uh, some mid nineties action right there. They put on some good. They get uh, some good acts out there at at the Cherokee Casino. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. How are you? You'll have to repeat your question. The dude abides. Maybe it got filtered. It didn't come through on my end, or maybe you had bad service or something. Good morning, L.A. Gore in the house. What is up? Thanks, everyone, for hung out for that raid last night at the end of that whatnot show. Um, I didn't hang into, into that. Um, I forget her name. I didn't hang out in her show very long. I was kind of I was doing my shipping and I saw the show in the background a little bit. And I saw a whole bunch of you in there supporting whoever that was. She seemed really grateful for everything. It was really cool. It's one of their last shows ever. Kevin the Singer is retiring. Gotcha. 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 Hope you enjoy the show. But yeah, I appreciate y'all just supporting the community. I saw people buying stuff, giving tips to her. You didn't even know who she was. We just raided her and um, I could tell that y'all made her night. It sounded like she was having a rough show. And you y'all went in there, piled in there, gave her tips, bought her stuff, shared positive energy. I could just hear it in her voice that she was really pepped up. Get another new tags item going out. Thank you, Biggie. You got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. This is going out to my friend Jay, old chef, new tricks. Brand new tags Wrangler. Really cool piece here. It's flannel. It's a beautiful colorway. And it's a pearl snap. I love these like Wrangler pearl snap flannels. Doesn't get much more Chris at peak than this. Thank you, 99, for the heart me. Appreciate that. So Mac is in the house. What's up, Mac? Nice piece, brand new with the taggy tags. Mac, I gave away that um, that hat last night to kick off the show. I don't know if you were there for that. I gave away that hat that I won from you. And uh, I put your name like in the description and like had a bunch of people tag you so people knew, knew to go follow you that you're doing shows and stuff. So hopefully last night, Maybe you got some new follows from some people that were in the live. I don't know. There was like a hundred people in the building when we did that. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of support. And we're going to ship out that hat here in a few minutes. Thank you, Smoky Mountain, for all those gifts. Good morning to you. I appreciate that so, so much. My friend from Knoxville, Abby, is in the house. 53 degrees right now. Getting cooler. Yeah, it is a beautiful fall morning out there today here in, in Asheville. Unreal. This is this is it. Like we're into like the like the foliage, the cool mornings. What's the better fall flavor? Would you say like apple cider or pumpkin spice? What's your what's the better fall flavor? Those are your only two choices. Don't get all like witty and smart and put in another. What's your choice? Those are your two. Apple cider 
or pumpkin spice? What's your favorite? Put it down in the chat. Oh, yeah, you got a bunch of tags. Let me know. What's your favorite? Apple cider or pumpkin spice? And don't be like all witty and come up like you're going to say something different. You're going to say like orange peel or something. Don't get weird. Those are your two options, A or B. I know someone's going to just be like super smart. What do we got? Pumpkin spice, apple cider, team apple cider, cider, pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice, apple cider. Seems like a pretty even split. Are we talking candle scents? Apple cider, no doubt. Apple spice cider. See, there you go. There you go. There's always one in the crowd. Surprise, there's only one. I underestimated y'all. I figured there'd be more of y'all. This is going out to my friend Jay. Old Chef New Tricks Jay. Thank you, sir, for your support. I can always count on you. Jay's got himself a brand new tag with tags, Wrangler flannel. There's always one in the crowd. Today, Nick Smith. Uh, let's see. This is going to go out at the 15 ounce range, maybe. Yep. Thank you, Jay. Jay's oftentimes hanging out in the chat in the mornings. I don't see him today, but either way, we're sending Jay some positive vibes. Jay, you're going to get a shipping confirmation and two shakes of a lamb's tail here. Here you go, shipping confirmation in your inbox, Jay. Bezos ain't got nothing on me. Thanks, Jay. I'm too tired to be quick-witted today. I usually count on you for that kind of stuff, Snappy D. Get you some coffee, will you? Spiced apple, apple pumpkin cider, is that better? I would expect that kind of stuff from y'all. Seems pretty even, Steven. Apple cider, pumpkin spice. Either way, if you're doing apples or pumpkins this time of year, you're winning. I think that's the end of that conversation. You're winning either way, I think. I'm more of like an apple person than a pumpkin, personally. Wrangler going out the door. Another one. This one's sick. This is going out the door to Ronda Roney for $23. I would have bought this on somebody's whatnot show for $23. I love those like embroidered wranglers like this. Big bold colors, color blocking. Those are cool. That's a good price on this. Nick Smith, what's your opinion on the price on this one? I'm curious. Nick Smith dominates like the, the wranglers, the uh, unique wranglers. So what would you think for a price on this? Four embroideries. It's in perfect condition. A steal. Sold a similar one for 50 bucks. Yep. I was thinking that this is probably a $45 shirt. It was kind of like the number I had in my head. This is one of those ones when it sold last night. I like. I was like, 23, is that done? That's over? It sold for 23? Nobody wanted that for 24? I was kind of surprised with that one. Nobody was willing to pay 24 for that. Good size, too. Men's extra large. Ronda Roney got herself a nice price on a great item. It's fine with me. As long as y'all are having fun getting good prices on stuff, the show goes on. Thanks, Rhonda. Going out today, going to Illinois. Probably have this Friday, maybe Saturday. No, probably Saturday.
Morning, Shauna. Morning, Delka. $23. $23. Now, I don't expect market value on all on all items on whatnot. You know, it's not the way it works. But typically, you feel like you're doing pretty good if you're getting like 70 to 80% of market value. And that's if you have like a good, like you jam the show full of people and you're putting up like in demand, like cool, unique items like that Wrangler. It's tough to get 70 to 80% market value if you're putting up items that aren't like, you know, you're just kind of more like boring items or like everyday common stuff. But if you're putting up stuff like that, 70 to 80% market value is pretty reasonable. Market value, I feel like on that shirt, it's probably 45 or 50 bucks. To me, I would have thought that that shirt on whatnot would have gone for like 30 to 35. Seems like the right price range for, for whatnot on that piece. But I mean, there was over a hundred people on the show. So it could have easily climbed from there. Rhonda got a deal for 23 bucks. I'm happy. She's happy. Let's go. I was there last night and I bought a little lemon, but was driving. So couldn't buy more. No worries, Sean. I appreciate your purchase so much. Thank you. For, appreciate you. Well, hope you're, hopefully you were, Driving safe while watching the show. Wayne is in the building. What's up, Kit Kat? Wayne is here. He'll say something and he'll be gone. Thank you for the heart me. Tina, thank you for the heart me. Chris, any desire to list more items on whatnot for the future? Um, 929, explain to me what you mean. I do a whatnot show every Tuesday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so by listing more items, um, um, tell me, what are you, what are you referring to? The show was great, Sean. I appreciate you. You asking? Thanks for hanging out last night while you were driving. We'll get your uh, Lulu order out if we haven't already. Rhonda's got a shipping confirmation in her inbox. Peach Magnolia has got an order. Thank you, Rhonda Roney, again. Peach Magnolia has got a Robert Graham and a Tommy Bahama going out the door. Robert Graham, Tommy Bahama. This Tommy Bahama is right and bold. Look at that. It's like a it's like a fire on a shirt. A flower fire. Beautiful. 100 percent silk piece. Nineteen bucks on that. To me, this would be a eBay piece that I would list for 35 and sell between 30 and 35 dollars. So this right here is basically um it's sold at like 60% of market value. So that's a good good price. Especially with like, if this was like a more mundane print, it would be a tougher sell on whatnot. But this big, bold piece, I expected this an easy kind of $25 range on this piece. But somebody was looking at it and said, you know what? I'm not going to pay $20 for that. Tommy Bahama, 19 is my max. I get it. I would have bought this for 19 bucks. So we got that and a Robert Graham going out. You generally have 50 to 60 items each show. Any desire to increase that number to get more sales? Not right now. Not right now. I like the size of my show. I like the length of the show. I like the pace of the show. I like where I'm at. I'm comfy with it. I don't want to keep people all night. People got stuff to do. I think an hour or maybe 70 minutes of peak is enough. It's a really nice color on this Robert Graham and a 3XLT size slip cuff. $30 price on this shirt. That's about what I expected this to go for. The market for this, because of the size on eBay, would be a little bit higher than this because it's that 3XLT size. But I thought I figured for whatnot in this size, this colorway, I figured 30 bucks was about right. Either way, it's a, a good price for a great shirt. Either way, you slice it. This is gonna go priority. It's going out to Cherry.
Got a couple with National Rodeo Association. Those sound awesome. Brant, I want those. Hey, from Indian Trail. What's up, Dolores? How are you? listening to the show not watching while driving what percent does what not keep um eight percent is their selling fee 2.9 percent plus 30 cents per transaction is the transaction fee which is standard so all in all 10.9 percent plus 30 cents per transaction what's up ethan blair good morning from St. Louis, what's up? The mongoose is in the house. How much are the fees on whatnot compared to eBay? I think eBay is like 12.9% plus, uh, plus 30 cents per transaction. It kind of varies a little bit based on what category you sell in, but about 13% is a good ballpark range for that. Cherry, we'll get your shipping confirmation here in just a couple of seconds. Nice package here. We got a freaking Tommy Bahama and a Robert Graham going out the door in the same box. How does whatnot pay out? Is it when they deliver? Uh, two to three days after the item is delivered to the customer. Come on, internet, you can do it. Yes, you did it. Sherry, you got a shipping confirmation in your inbox and you got some awesome clues coming your way. I also appreciate that you're calm on your show and not screaming at me. I feel like I'm pretty like high energy on those shows. Are you saying I'm calm? You're measuring tape stick taped to table changed my life so fast and easy i love measuring stuff that way i'm glad that helped uh libby's talking about this how i just put the measuring tape right there on the on the table i think that's a nice little trick you can see it on youtube and facebook right here too i'm gonna get another table i think here when i get somebody hired by the way i'm hiring if you know somebody in the Asheville, north carolina area who would like to be part of this growing little operation, be a big, important, integral part of this. Uh, let them know that Peak is hiring. But I'm going to probably put another table over there and put another measuring tape on that one over there too, so we can have a couple different stations to get stuff done. All right. Next up, we got a big order. This is for Angel with a bow. Angel got has five items going out the door, including a buyer appreciation. She won. The what did you order? What she got? She got the Hey Dudes in the size nine. So she won one of the buyer appreciation giveaways. Brand new with tags. Hey Dudes. These are size nine. We'll confirm that they're both nine. Yes, nine. Yes, nine. These are the Karina. Karina Sherpa. They got like a Sherpa fleece line outside on those. Pretty awesome. Brand new with tags. So she's got those. Good energy, but there's a difference between energy and like a six pack of Red Bull. Gotcha. Gotcha. I am tend to be a pretty like chill kind of human being. So 
not too high, not too low, just kind of right there in the middle. North face going out the door is a really nice one. Nice like workout wear. Ooh, this one's for thirteen dollars. North face. Sometimes you look at these prices and say, man, what happened? Got Lululemon on this order too, Patagonia in this order, and Pendleton in this order. What a hey dudes, North Face, Lululemon, Patagonia, Pendleton, all going in one box. That is a freaking order right there. Someone's got good taste. Angel, you got good taste over there. It's a nice athletic wear North Face piece. That one girl was so happy and thankful for the raid. Yeah, that was awesome, y'all. I appreciate y'all being super supportive. I forget her name. I only like kind of hung out for the first couple minutes. I had her on the background as I was doing some shipping last night, but I saw y'all in there tipping her, buying her stuff, sharing positive vibes. I know you di didn't do it for me. I know you're doing it to be good humans, but I appreciate y'all doing that. Makes me smile. Born in South Texas, the flippin' mama. What's her name? The flippin' mama. She seemed like she was really nice. And like her husband was in the background, like helping her on the show. She seemed like good people. I wanted to hang and buy stuff. She just didn't really have a peak style stuff. I appreciate y'all being all positive with her. Thought that was cool. Every time I underestimate y'all, y'all go and do something really, really nice like that. So Sir Pendleton, this is an awesome piece. Good price on that, 26 bucks. The last Sir Pendleton I sold, I think I sold in the 40 something dollar range. So that's a good price. We got Lululemon. It's that quarter zip number 38. This one right here. Men's small. It's a good price on that Lulu. 19 bucks for a uh, for a mid-weight, super soft men's Lulu. 19 bucks. Let me check out what her name is. Her name is KK. Oh, okay. KK, that was right. KK Red Sox. KK Red Sox. She seems super nice. They're a hoot together. Thank you for the corn. I appreciate that, South Texas. Thank you for the Heart Me Gen Meets World. Good morning. Thanks for being here. That was her name. KK Red Sox. Thanks for looking that up. Yeah, I'm not familiar with, with who she is. I never um never been into one of her shows before. Seemed like she had it together over there. Lulu, we got a Patagonia tea. Nice one here. Little pocket tea. Big mountain hit. Getting down to the nitty gritty now. If you're hanging out on TikTok, you might consider checking out my TikTok shop by clicking on my name up at the top of the screen. I'm going down and clicking the icon or tapping the icon where it says shop, S-H-O-P. People have been getting 30% off of free shipping the last couple of days. I think it's what their fall sale is on TikTok shop. So a lot of people are getting 30% off free shipping. Get yourself some coffee, some delicious coffee, maybe some rad merch. So we get the Sir Pendleton North Face, and we'll ship you out right here during the live. As always, Patagonia Lululemon North Face. 
and hey dudes one two three four five what an awesome box all right so let's see we'll put this in plastic we'll put this in one of those big old boxes let's figure out how to do a review for the coffee and big bag i got gotcha i'm not sure i think you could just uh you know that's a good question i don't know how to do that Anybody in the chat knows how to do a review on TikTok shop. Because I think you get a coupon if you do a review. Good morning, Mrs. Reisner. Thanks for your coffee order. Got that shipped out for you. Packed up, ready to go last night. It's heading out this morning. Appreciate that. Handwritten thank you card here for Angel. Patagonia, Lulu, North Face, Pendleton, and Hey Dudes going out the door. That's not an awesome collection of brands. I don't know what is. I'll look today. I need to figure out how to do a review. That's a cool 40 board. Where'd you get that? Oh, man. Uh, my mom gave me this to me years ago. I have one linked in my profile from Amazon, but I don't know where the heck this thing, it's probably, if it's less than 10 years old, I'd be shocked. But I do have one linked in my profile. I just don't know where this one came from. I have a whole Amazon reseller shopping list, all the materials I use, including these clear bags, including the table, which is actually a workbench, my computer monitor, my computer, I think my mouse and my keyboard. Packing materials, boxes, everything. Tape, tape dispenser. It's all linked from my Amazon reseller shopping list. So that you, if you're looking for any of that stuff, you know those are the items I use. Most of them I've been using for years. One of the buyer appreciations, brand new with tags. Hey, dudes, those are pretty cool. Like Sherpa lined. Have you finished creating the design for the Zippo putty? My uh, the designer's working on it right now. We're on round two as we speak. He sent me over the first draft. I gave him some feedback. I'm waiting on round two. If I had it my way, this would have been done two weeks ago. But Unfortunately, I have to rely on other people with artistic ability to get this stuff done. So I don't have it. Bunch of random recycled packing materials. I guess that's all we need. Good enough. Thank you for your order. We got this going out. Blue Lemon, North Face, Pendleton, Dudes, and Patagonia all in one box. That is winning.
Thanks, 929. Morning, Aaron. Penn's doing awesome, brother. It's signing these handwritten thank you notes perfectly. Good morning, Thrifty Duckies, Jen. Hello, the pen. Did I miss my package? Yes, I got yours packaged, uh, Lynette. Yours got packaged last night. Thank you so much for your order. I think I packaged yours last night. Let's just double check. I'm pretty certain. I'll double check right now. Angel, you got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. Yes, yours went out last night. Packaged it up right after the show. Thank you so much for your order. It's going to go out today. I like getting usage feedback. I love the pen. It's freaking awesome. It's got a nice heavy weight to it. And it's got my coffee in it. This makes me happy. Who else has a pen with their own coffee in it? That's crazy. If you think about it. Thank you, Lynette. All right. Next up, we got Valerie. Thanks so much, Valerie. Now, this is a nice collection of brands right here. She's got five items. The Grateful Dead hat, our big, our winner to kick off the show. This is from Southern Treasures Mac. I won that on her show. So, Valerie, this is going out the door to you. Brand new with tags, Grateful Dead. We got a Lululemon, Lily Pulitzer, Tommy Bahama, and Peter Millar. That's a good collection. Tommy Bahama, Peter Millar, Lily Pulitzer, Lululemon, and a Grateful Dead hat. That is winning. Nice little box going out the door here for my friend Valerie. There's one, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. We got Lululemon number 16. This is a Peloton Lululemon piece, pretty cool. Pulitzer tube top. Classic bright blue lemons color step colorway on that. MVP Val. Grateful Dead hat, and what did I miss? Tommy Bahama linen. Hundred percent linen, Tommy. Beautiful shirt. That's what we call it. Going out to dinner, going out to the nice dinner on vacation. That one nice restaurant you go to. When everyone gets all dolled up and you're on vacation, you don't want to get too dressed up. You want to still look like you're on vacation, but like you're like taking it seriously. Getting you a filet mignon. Maybe surf and turf if it's been a good year. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. Going out to Valerie. Let's see if I can get that in here. Let's do this. Ooh, 
new shock around. Hey, Valerie. I'm getting all shipped out. It's a nice handwritten thank you out with a coffee pen from Jesse Makes. the door, Valerie. Thank you so much. Go ahead and put this in a box here for you. Valerie, you're going to have a shipping confirmation. Chemo's here. You're going to have a shipping confirmation in just a second. Good morning, Chemo. Almost done the whatnot shipping. We got some TikTok shop orders to jump into here. Does your post office pick up right from your house? Yep. You just go to usps.com and go to schedule pickup. On my one shop app they have this like clever little thing where i can just do it right from the one shop app and it's just like a couple little clicks it's awesome but it's easy to do on usps.com don't get me wrong come on internet you can do it hey can, do you mind pulling out that router internet's doing its thing thank you Post office is three minutes from my house and so almost feels wrong. My my post office is probably six minutes from my house, but I'll take that six minutes back. Thank you very much. Thank you, Valerie. You got a shipping confirmation right now in your inbox. Appreciate your order. Good stuff. Grateful Dead Blue Lemon North Face and something else. Thank you, Valerie. All right, we got first order here from, this is the like right off the bat, first item of the show. The Husky Mama jumped in here. Hey, it's, that's you, that's Shauna. That's you, Shauna. And y'all have different names over there. I don't know who's who. Shauna with the first item of the show, really nice Lululemon piece at a good price too. Thank you, Shauna. Thanks for your first order with me on whatnot. We got a first timer here. I don't know if you can read it, but you got a handwritten thank you card in there. Lulu Lemon. Well, 
Oh, this piece. Gotcha. That piece. That's going for Sean. Freaking awesome. Item number one. Shauna did not waste any time. Other people were settling into the show. Shauna was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and get this. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Packaged with love and care, handwritten thank you note. Thank you, Shona. You know, you can tell someone that you appreciate their order. Or you can write them a handwritten thank you note. You can ship it on live. This is about a 15 ounce rate. Package it with care and love. go Sean we'll get you a shipping confirmation in just a second here ain't nobody got time for that somewhere between 70 and 80 percent of my business on whatnot is return business Anything I can do to appreciate those customers is good for the short term. It's good for the long term. And shoot, this is fun for me. I grew up in brick and mortar type businesses where most of the business is from return business and referrals. So that's how I conduct my business on here. It just feels right. Got my shipping alert this morning. Thank you. Yeah, we just shipped out your order about, I don't know, half hour ago. Jay, thank you. Thank you for the corn gen meats world. Appreciate you. Super nice. That's nice. Yeah. Nice piece there on that Lululemon. Good smart buy by Shauna. She's got a shipping confirmation in her inbox. And now we got an order for Hatcher's Thrift. She hauled out. She's got five items coming her way. Come on, internet. You can do this. Let's go internet. Three wrestling figures sold today. That's about it. Nice mother nature. You know what you would say. Every every order counts, brother. Every order counts. All right. So we got Kim from Hatcher's Thrift here. How's this for a box? Dixon Flannel, Territory Ahead, Rock Revival, North Face, and Cool. All in one box. Rock Revival, Territory Ahead, Dixon, Cool, North Face. Let's go. That's some good stuff right there. Thank you, Kim, for your order. Kim's somewhere working hard right now. I promise that much. Kim never quits. Look at this Dixon flannel. Crazy piece. North face, no fleece, lightweight with the hood.
on sale today, got offered for $20 on jeans, priced at 30, countered at 25, and then they bought it at 30. Isn't that strange when that happens? I'm always puzzled by that. It happens from time to time, not often. Always kind of strange. How much did that sell for? Dolores, I'm not sure which that you were asking about. Sorry, I wasn't staring at the chat when that came through. cool piece here that's a women's small nice like cotton piece the north face peach sold for seventeen bucks uh, Dixon flannel north face cool territory head and rock revival that territory ahead. I really like this brand, especially when it's got like the nice Southwest colorways to them. Some of the more plain ones aren't as desirable, but I love these ones. 13 dollars on that. It's a 25 dollar plus shipping shirt. All day 25 maybe as much as 29 on eBay. So 13 is a great price. Basically 50% of market on this. Rock Revivals out the door. $13 for Rock Revivals. In here pretty soon. He's got to be full time flipping. There's nobody rooting for her more than I am. Dixon Territory Head Rock Revival North Face. Cool, all in one bag.
long as there's more money coming in than money going out. That's right. Nice mother nature. So you can see the big picture move fast. Yep. I agree with that too. I'm often the victim of moving too fast and not slowing down and seeing the big picture. I had some good reminders lately, the big picture. And getting laid off was a good reminder. Person Jane who came into the chat. Oh man, he's gonna get up there. That person Jane who came into our chat a few weeks ago, she was a good reminder. She didn't realize it, but she ended up being just the reminder that I needed. We're doing just okay over here. Everything is great. I'm further ahead today than we were a year ago. Further ahead today than we were six months ago. Further ahead today than we were three months ago. I'm gonna look at the big picture. necessary for PMA. Thank you, Tracy. I appreciate the positive vibes. I'm not sure what PMA, PMA means. I'm not really good at the abreaves PMA, but thank you for the vibes. So Jane, uh, thanks to Jane, we're going to have a new hoodie coming out to commemorate the idea of working for yourself, build your own future. If you expect corporate America to, America to take care of you, at some point, they're probably going to let you down. And they're going to remind you what corporate America is all about. It's not about you. We're going to have a sweatshirt to commemorate that. To own that idea. Because I know so many of you have been hit by things like layoffs and corporate BS. What was the story with Jean? What happened to her again? She came in here telling me to get a real job. She told me I should give up this dream of having my own business, running the, out of the house, working barefoot right now in my, my hoodie and my sweatpants. She told me I should give all this up, throw away my sign, get rid of the coffee, get rid of the merch, and just go back to work. Get a real job like at a bank or something. I go put on a suit and a tie every day and iron my clothes and get stuck in traffic. She told me that that should be what I do. Go get a real job, kid. Go get a real job positive mental attitude. Please order your special. Oh, thank you so much, Frenchie. I appreciate it. Lawn man is in the house. Um, I was going to go for a walk. Okay. How long are you going to be on the arena? Uh, not long. Well, I could wait and then make breakfast. And then if you want to go with me for a quick yeah, walk. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well, because um, then you can just come back and do a bunch of stuff yeah. this afternoon. Yeah, I got that meeting at like or 12 30 or something like that but yeah let's, let's do just that do a quick one. yep thank you she must be jealous you yeah just some random person it ain't nothing she was it doesn't matter she gave us sending positive vibes her way she's awesome she gave me exactly what i needed she reminded me like holy crap this is actually kind of cool i have my own business in my house a lot of people would kill for this if i rewounded if i if i rewound four years and you told me like hey I would have my own business out of my house, no commute, um, no boss, no team meetings, no all staff meetings, no personal development plans, um, no like coworkers who don't get fired even though they suck and they're not doing their job, no lunatic bosses. If you told me that that would have been my reality four years ago, that this was my reality and I'd be live streaming, shipping out orders to people that I care about a ton, I would have told you like, that's crazy. That's like a dream. What are you talking about? Plus the fact that we moved back to Asheville and all that stuff. It's all a dream. It's awesome. 
Jane gave me that reminder that this is actually pretty cool. This is the first time I've had my own sign. I've had signs outside of buildings before that have my name on it. Like when I ran a restaurant in New Hampshire, I had a sign that said general manager, Chris Hag, And it was, you know, like, what do you call it? Like a copper plated or gold plate. I don't know what it was, but it was outside of the brick building. And I was like, yeah, that's kind of neat. Like, I'm, you know, I run this place, but I always thought like, I want my own sign. And it reminded me like, holy crap, I do. I finally have my own sign with my own name on it, my own business not my name on somebody else's business. And you know what? That's pretty cool, I think. Like if you just boil things down into like just like really simple parts, really just like really break it down into small parts. I'm barefoot working, live streaming, shipping out orders to my friends, hanging out with my friends. I got a sign behind me that's mine, my own branded coffee, which is delicious. I'm also drinking the coffee. I need more coffee. Didn't George Thorogood warn us about people getting out? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know about y'all, but I, like I, my whole life, I, I dreamed about like running my own businesses and stuff like that. Like I didn't dream about having a corner office. That was just, you know, if you had that dream or have that dream, that's fine. Like it just wasn't me. I wasn't like, I hope someday I have a corner office with a view and I get to wear a suit every day. That just wasn't where my head was at. But Jane tells me, but that's where it should be. And I respect her a ton. And I'm not going to make any assumptions about what's going on with her life or whatever. You know, she just came in and said like a couple of things. She also told me that I lived in my parents' basement, which is kind of crazy because y'all know my parents. They live in Florida. That'd be a long commute home to my mom's basement. Better go get more coffee. I'll be right back, y'all. Coffee order. All right, well, yeah, we have a t-shirt order going out for you. I got my mug. Just send all the day during coffee. But you gotta get pretty uh get happy shipping that. No, like that's why I do all this like buy stuff, but you might not think like some of you are thinking of what you think. What if I could start like another brand or something, you know, in addition to these lines? What if I could try some other stuff to build some other businesses? That's why I come live, this to share it. Like the stuff just all falls together. It's just like grit, hard work, good ideas, trying stuff out, seeing if it works. It's not like this is all some like perfectly orchestrated plan. I got a team of people. I don't have like a branding and merch department. I don't have like yeah, I don't have like someone coaching me through all this stuff. I'm just figuring it out. I'm talking to my friends. Um, and uh, Kim and I just sit over here and we, we sit on the back deck and talk about, you know, what's next or what, what can we try? And we got some cool stuff coming for you, by the way. Yeah. I can't believe it. People still iron clothes. Finally got a shirt. Nice. I swear this gentleman is so rude. I can't teach my own kids enough to be respectful. I swear this generation is so rude. I can't teach my kids enough to be respectful to other humans. It's super simple. It's super simple. Just be nice to people. I think it's different. I, I think just because like the internet and stuff, like the internet, I think we have other things going on in our society too, but the internet just teaches people that you can say whatever you want and there's like no consequence. But like, I don't know. If I said bad stuff to people, like when I was like, I don't know, 9, 10, 11, 12 years old, right? When I was in school, grade school, like if I said something bad to someone else, they might hit me, you know, like you got to hit and then I'd have to, you know, you have to sort it out. Right. And you learn lessons that way, but I don't think they let you do that crap anymore. I bet you, if you hit somebody in school, you'd probably be, probably be arrested at this point. Um, we get an order for flipping Tanya. Let's get this out the door. TikTok shop order. I don't understand how someone could be so spiteful. Yeah. I think it's just the way the society is. It's just like kind of all around us, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean we have to lower ourselves to that level. We can, appreciate and respect people and, and try to uplift them at every turn. You know, to me, that's like what a handwritten thank you note can do for somebody. I never know what's going on in someone's world. I just shipped out between last night and this morning, I shipped out 32 packages. I think we might have another one to do. So we'll call it 32. 30, actually, I shipped out another one last night too, 33. So 33 packages between last night and this morning. And that's 33 handwritten thank you cards. And these are going to show up on people's front doors between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this coming week. And I don't know what's going on with all these people's worlds, right, over those couple days. And when they get this package, you know, maybe one or two of those people are going to read this note 
And that's just got to make them smile a little bit and lift them up from whatever kind of garbage that they're dealing with, whatever sort of negativity that they're dealing with, because the negativity is everywhere. Maybe this card sort of lifts some people up. So I know people say, and somebody said it in this chat earlier. Thank you for saying it. Ain't nobody got time for generosity, gratitude, packing orders for people, sharing, uh, writing out handwritten thank you cards. Ain't nobody got time for that. Carefully uh, folding people's items. Um, and I would correct that person and say, you ain't got time for that, but I got time for that. And I think it's important to me. I've always said, whether I get return business from this card or not, isn't the reason I do this card. It's the secondary reason why I do this card. The primary reason is I spend four and a half cents and take about 20 seconds to write this card because it might brighten someone's day. And I don't even know like if they need it. And maybe something happens between now and Saturday when they get the package and they do need it, but we didn't know it today. And I just get a little, just a nice little note. And uh, maybe it makes somebody smile. I have to do a, re -car, a review on the card this time. And I'm not telling that you have to do it my way. I'm not telling anybody what to do, but it's always, it's just been important to me. It's from the very beginning of my business over five years ago on eBay, every single order gets a handwritten thank you card. I just like doing it. I don't know. You never know. I mean, how many, I mean, I've shipped probably 10,000 orders in that time, probably more. Um, yeah, probably more. I mean, how many of those? I'm sure every card didn't change somebody's life. I'm sure some people were like, what a dummy. He wasted time sending me this card. Who cares? I'm sure some people said that. And that's fine. Those people are great. But there's, I mean, there's got to be a handful of people, hundreds of people, right? That that card was like well-timed and they needed it. That's the way I see it. So we just did 33. I don't know. Maybe two or three of those 33 packages that we just shipped out. Maybe two or three of those people just really need it when it gets there. And it makes them smile, even for just for a few seconds. I'm not, you know, I have no illusions that it's going to change the trajectory of their life kind of thing, right? It might, I don't know. But for just a few seconds in a crazy world that's stressful, somebody smiled. And that's okay for me. We got flipping by Tanya. We'll get your order out. We got a thrifting is my cardio. Speaking of making people smile, these shirts, whenever I wear this shirt, people smile, they make comments. And I hear that from people all the time. Thrifting is my cardio. This shirt's going out the door to flipping by Tanya. Thank you so much. Get you the right size there. Thrifting is my cardio. Available in TikTok shop. Available at chrisatpeach.com. There's links to everything down below. Flipping Tanya got, I think, 30% off on this order. 30% off and free shipping. Is that right, Tanya? $15.75 on this shirt. They're normally priced $25. $15.75 and free shipping. Check your TikTok shop now. You probably have a 30% off coupon. You can get yourself some rad merch or some delicious coffee. Why not? Support a small business. Get a handwritten thank you note. I love my bags. Thanks, Mama Havoc. I agree. I have had reviews or mention of handwritten notes. Makes people a day who need it. Yeah, it's not going to make every person's day. And I have no illusions it does. But, you know, there's probably a couple people out there from these 33 packages that could kind of really need just use a little something to make them smile, even just for a few seconds. But this shirt, I think this will make Tanya smile. And also she's going to put it on and it's going to make other people smile, right? So it's like a double effect right there. And maybe the thank you card does the same thing too. We'll get this shipped out for you, Tanya. I'm flapping my gums. I'm delaying. I'm stalling. I enjoy the packaging part of reselling. I do too. But you already know that. There you go, Tony. Thanks so much. We got a handwritten thank you note with the coffee pen. Go make some people smile with this shirt. You'll get some compliments. When people compliment it, give them a high five. Tell them they're doing great. Tell them whatever you want. Just an opportunity to spread some joy, some love, some respect. That's it. Just respecting another human being. Doesn't take much. All right, Tonya, you will get a shipping confirmation in a couple hours, probably around, probably today around two or three o'clock when my postal worker picks up these packages. You'll get a shipping confirmation with a tracking number. You get a smile in a bag coming your way. Smile in a bag. This will be the two. 
<clears throat> Thank you, Tanya. Thirty percent off that order, and I think free shipping on it too. Where's the best place to send you a message? No, nah, man, you can send me a message on TikTok or Instagram. Those are two good ways. I will definitely do that. I love it. Uh, we got a, let's see, you got an order going out for Scooby-Doo. Where are you? Got a thrifting is my cardio bag, a little haul bag. This is on TikTok shop. This was also 30% off. This is a 13 gallon bag, 30% off. So $12 and 60 cents. I think three sh free shipping on this thing too. Free shipping, 30% off 12 60 for this bag. Thank you so much. Get this shipped right out to you. This is, this bag gets a lot of compliments and smiles too. And I'll just show it all of them one up and show it to you in case you haven't seen it before. I know a lot of you already have it, but there it is. It's a 13 gallon bag. It can hold up to, I think it's rated to 33 pounds. And of course the message I think is something that we can all re resonate with. Thrifting is my cardio. Hey, sometimes I don't have time for the gym. I got my steps in at the thrift store. That counts, right doctor? It all boils down to it costs nothing to be nice. It's, it's true. If you ever stop writing thank you cards with big doses of gratitude, I will notify the Better Business Bureau. The, B, the BBB is going to know about it. Y'all are funny. Y'all are funny. I have three of those bags make me smile every time I fill them up. That's awesome. It's just the little things in life, right? You could probably, I mean, you can get a cheaper bag if you wanted to somewhere else, right? But will that bag make you smile? Will it make other people smile? I'm not sure. Debbie, I hope this makes you smile. Thanks for your order. Great deal on this too. And if you're wondering, like on that 30% off, it's good for you because you get a great deal. It's good for me because TikTok pays me the full price and it's good for TikTok because you know they're building trust and confidence in their platform. Debbie, make some people smile when you get this bag. This is going to, oh, did I already ship this order? I think I already shipped this order. Why did it show up on my thing? I swear I shipped this already. It's probably at the very bottom of this whole thing. I remember because it's going out. Homer, Alaska. I think I already shipped this bag. I did. I already shipped this. I don't know why it showed up on my shipping screen. Got an extra thank you card and an extra bag. I think there's like a, I think there's like nine or 10 bags left. I already shipped that one. That would have been a bad mistake because that shipping label is already used. So that wouldn't, that, they would have sent one of those back to me because that label's already been used. That's weird that that showed up on my shipping screen. Maybe I just didn't click the right button. Yeah, but that's impossible. Anyway, thanks y'all for your orders. I think I got another whatnot order. I got to double check that right quick. They're all shipped out on TikTok shop. I'm going to check Chris at peak.com. See if anything came in. Check Poshmark and eBay too. Off in there. That's a long way as it is. We're going to make people smile out there in Alaska, too. People in Alaska need smiles, too. Cool. We're all up to speed on chrisatpeak.com as well. Let's go back to whatnot. Let's see if there's any final orders. Kim, you got a shipping confirmation in your inbox. I just have one bag of coffee left to ship out on uh, whatnot, but that coffee is going to have to ship out 
tomorrow because I am out of the whole bean until tomorrow. So we'll put in our coffee order in just a few minutes. Hey. Just let me know when you're open. Still okay. Some. Going to sneak away to thrift in a minute. Nice. Good morning. Sipping on my medium roast. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Coach Cesar. Hey, Amy. Used to move our daughter into a car. Used them to move. Oh, nice. You used them as moving bags. Yeah, that's awesome. We have them in the back of the car all the time. We had a couple of them. We use them for all kinds of stuff. Grocery store, just carrying stuff. When we traveled this weekend, we like throw a bunch of stuff in them when we went to the, um, the uh, Kim's parents' house. I used a bag every day since I received it. I love that. Out there hustling. Thrifting live today. No, I won't be thrifting live today. I tried to thrift live yesterday, but TikTok did not like that story yesterday. My service was perfectly fine. I was looking up comps. I even did a random FaceTime call in that store, but for some reason, TikTok did not want to vibe with that store. So we couldn't do a TikTok live yesterday. Every now and again, TikTok just does not work on that store. It'll work nine times out of 10, but then the 10th time, it just won't work. It's very strange. I just don't get it, but that's okay. All right, I'm all shipped out. That's the deal. I'm going to put some stuff outside. Look at all these packages there. That's just like not even close to like all of them. We got 40, I guess, what are you, 33, 36 total packages that will be picked up today. 36. We were sad. Yeah, I don't know. There was nothing I could do. I just I was like, well, TikTok's not going to work. It wasn't the best thrift. I got a couple of pieces. I found a Lululemon, which I, I very rarely find Lulu at thrift stores around here. I found a Lulu. What else did I find? I found, I found a Smart Wool. That was cool. I found a Smart Wool. All right, y'all. I'm going to log off for the day. Appreciate everybody hanging out today. Um, y'all made me smile. And uh, that's all I can ask for. Well, I'll catch you tomorrow, uh, Thursday, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, we'll ship out some orders and sip some coffee. Appreciate everybody's support. I'm just going to double check one thing real quick. Uh, I hope you have a good day. hope sales are good. Uh, I hope you're enjoying some fall weather, whether it's pumpkin spice or apple cider. I hope you're taking in the, the, uh, the fall beauty. See you later, Mother Nature. Appreciate you being here. Always appreciate your positive vibes. I don't know what we did to deserve you, Mother Nature Show, but we got you, and I appreciate it so much. We'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Peace.